Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. Do you feel like you're kind of missing out on all of those things that you would usually find on a stick this time of year at the Iowa State Fair? Well, today's Creative Boost plays off of that a little bit. We're talking creativity on a stick uh, today. Just some fun thoughts to get you through the weekend because sticks and branches and twigs and driftwood, it's just such a beautiful material to work with creatively. And if you start looking at it as an art supply or an art material, you see even more potential in our opportunity. You can get the kids on board. They get excited to help with some of those cleanup efforts outside when they know they're starting to grow a collection that they can bring back and use in creative projects throughout the year. The price is always right. It's absolutely free. No two pieces are alike. And I think that this material, having it on hand, is a great addition to your creative toolkit. So start you know, picking up some of those fallen branches and twigs, ones that you find interesting, uh, different diameters. And uh, I like to keep mine in a garbage bin. Just toss them all in there. They'll dry out. They're ready to use whenever you are ready to create with them. Uh, some of the smaller diameter branches, branches, I like to cut down into shorter lengths and then have a really nice stash of these where you keep your paintbrushes and other art materials because you're always needing to stir something, uh, prop something up. Uh, you can sharpen them. You can use them to move around different mediums, drawing tools. Uh, I think having a nice stash of these with your other art supplies you will find to be very useful and handy. And then some of those larger branches, we've been having a lot of fun creating these natural wall hangings. And it all starts with an interesting branch that has some nice curves to it, a feel of movement. And then this is your canvas. This is what you're gonna build off of. You can paint on this, uh, you can wrap it in different threads and fabrics. You could do some collage work with different papers and you could leave it natural and then you start suspending all kinds of interesting things below it. So you could use other natural materials. You could play around with different branches hanging uh, vertically below this. You could work with different beads, so many options. You could hang things at different lengths to create some pattern and design that way. But a really simple way to create a naturally beautiful piece of art to hang on your wall. You can get different looks with different sizes of your uh, rustic driftwood hangings and add some other found objects, create some interesting ways to link things together. These are so much fun to create and then display outside. Again, you're working with materials um, that you have discovered outside, uh, very budget friendly, and it's just so fun and rewarding to come up with decorative, interesting ways to use some of these pieces. And then some of the um, smaller branches, we also like to, I like to cut these down into 12 inch lengths, and then we create a really nice assortment of these twig frames. So we'll lay out our branches on our uh, work surface and then I just tack them with some hot glue and then we'll come back in with our threads or our string and then we will reinforce that around those intersections to strengthen up our frame. And then what we do with these is we use them to create looms for us to practice different weaving techniques. And these are so fun to create on. Uh, you can weave with all of your different scraps of yarn, different pieces of fabric, um, create different uh, designs and patterns. And you can also weave, you know, the kids love to collect some natural elements to throw into the mix. So you can put your, um, you know, weave feathers through here, some grasses, some stems, different leaves. And a little tip on working with these as a loom. If you get one of these, because they're 12 inches, you can get these needles. This is an upholstery needle. You can get this wherever they sell sewing supplies. And this does a beautiful job of working through there um, just kind of in one shot. This is a nice handy tool that I found very useful with these. And a little tip to keep the kids from bugging you every five minutes. Can you thread my needle? Can you thread my needle? Uh, if you take a piece of painter's tape and I'm going to fold it over the one end of my yarn here. Now you can see I just folded it right over and then you're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut this into just a small little triangle. See, I've got a little triangle at the end and then that's just going to feed nicely through the eye of our needle. You're not getting all those fibers bunched up in there. It makes it really easy for the kids to manage things on their own and then you're ready to go and start with that weaving. But you will find that having a nice little collection of these on hand, already stored away, ready to use, um, it's just a great addition to the creative toolbox. Creativity on a stick, you know, it's okay to play and it actually feels 
pretty darn good.